and I'm glad you enjoy and thank you so much dude that is a big donation that helps us out a lot so early birds of today we're gonna have a long stream today we're gonna have then we're gonna start with color cup group stage which is gonna last at least three hours and then we're gonna have Russ Brain Cup later on today. The first ever tournament on 1.29 on Back to Warcraft. <clears throat> Is it the third or the fourth qualifier? I'm not quite sure. Uh, so, we start on Ancient Isles. Foggy in the top left, Focus in the bottom right. Foggy usually used to play. Not only the early game, but this entire matchup super aggressively. Recently I've seen him play... Uh, for a second there, I thought the hero was like... Recently I've seen him playing it more conservatively, going for level 2. So, how quickly is he gonna head over? Usually he would grab up the item here and then run straight over again. Okay, so he is playing it more aggressively once more. 21 supply attack, the foggy specialty, as the wisp finishes and... Oh, he's forgetting about it for a moment. He's busy with the Ancient of War creep. Couple of seconds lost, but that's okay. Over here, one burrow from Focus is very fast as well. Gloves of Haste for the Blade against Circlet for the Demon. Has not denied any of the creeps. Well done. <clears throat> it's hard here to effectively protect your burrow because there's a big opening here. One grunt cannot block the entrance. Blade Master only needs one more kill for the level up. Demon, that is, excuse me. But of course, killing a grunt, not so easy. Blade here putting a lot of damage on that demon already. We've seen some uh, evasion first, recently. Trying to kill that Boro, but not from Foggy. Foggy and Focus both were very successful at the last GCS. Foggy taking second place, almost defeating TH in the grand final. And Focus, the most successful orc at that tournament, took third place. And fourth place went to Czech, pretty surprisingly, considering that we haven't seen anything from Czech for quite a while. Of course, the thing with Czech is always, sometimes he has to take care of his daughter. Well, he always does, but you know, um, his time to play Warcraft is very limited nowadays. Can't even remember the last time I saw him, actually. There's a Wisp in the base here. Could be used for some staff harass later on. That is still, it seems, uh, Foggy's playstyle. Many of the Korean Nidos prefer to go creeping on tier 2, but Foggy usually is much more aggressive. Ancient of War creeping here continues with the Archer. He's only making 3 Moonwells. Is this normal? I, ne I mean, I know that the 4th Moonwell is delayed for him always, but I thought he was... He still d did make it on the way to tier 2. I guess he's skipping the Moonwell here so he can power, uh, uh, like, rush tier 3 and the wins and the second hero. Should be lining up nicely here, his resources later on. Demon already got the staff. Foggy the Night of who prioritizes that item most of all, I feel like. He's nicely healed up again. Tier 2 is about to finish. There's no Wisp here in the middle. That's a bit of a mistake, right? Usually you want to get the Beastmaster ASAP, summon the Quill Beast, walk him over. But there's a Wisp here, so he could just staff onto that one. Oh, I like that actually. Dude, this is going to be so fast. So here's the Beastmaster. Is he just gonna staff on this right away? Not yet. Demon Hunter still waiting. And he's hanging around here. Here's the first Quill Beast. Oh! Proxy Lodge. That's something that Focus has started doing. That's been scouted though. Blade Master is level 2. Where's the Grunts? Three Grunts! Wow! That is heavy commitment to the early game. This Lodge is 100% dead. Doesn't have a dust, so the Archer's gonna survive. And back here, oh my god, the beast theory. Why didn't he make it here? This is a much more protected position. So Lodge and beast theory are coming up again. If he can cancel this beast here, that would be fantastic for him. But one of the quill base is already dead. And this one, only by itself, isn't going to do the most amount of damage. So, honestly, this was okay. This was just, the Lodge cancelled once, early on. In total, it's not going to delay this by too much. The dream is always when the TC is out and then you cancel them again. There will be a really long delay. But we're used to better harassments from Foggy. And I wonder, shouldn't he have used the staff to go onto that wisp here? 
The Beastmaster could have come from the middle. There's no way he should have taken too much damage for the Beastmaster not to arrive in time to save him with the staff. But, well, anyways. Didn't matter. Didn't work. Mana stone. Bad drop here for Foggy. Oh. Using the double staff here to get out of danger. He knew the Beastmaster, uh, the Blade Master was coming in the middle. Ancient already ready for the creep. This is a pretty predictable play. Will the Blade Master be able to do something about this? He has one wind walk left. Would love to get this last hit here. We take a look at the experience bar. Usually focus is extremely good at getting these. And he gets it and the item. Fast finger focus once again. He is very fired up now. Will be able to be spotted easily. But that's such a big grab. So much experience denied. And of course the item. Ring of course not quite what we was hoping for. Pretty dangerous camp here. Taking a lot of damage to the orc. But he did have information on the Knight of side. He's revealing now his own vulnerability with the fairy fire. But he's gonna be healing up. Very quick leveling here on the blade. Almost level 3 already. But Foggy is getting a lot done. Getting a lot done before master training is always nice for the Night Elf, something that the orcs can look to punish. With the fairy fire, of course, he knows he's gonna get attacked. There's only one end snare, however, and it's only the archer dying, the archer who really doesn't matter in the late game. So how close is the demon to level 3? That's, of course, always the big deal. Still about 100 away. Had he gotten that uh, overseer, he would be much closer now. But Fogo's gonna grip this up, and this once again gives space to Foggy. Already has the first healing potion. Didn't go for the invul here. Was it already grabbed up earlier? I think he could have gotten it. But anyways, master training should be done soon. And this is when the game really uh, begins. Halfway through. Oh, this is early peon commitment. He only has one walker, one raider, a bunch of grunts as well. And TP home! From the Nidal, very close here to level 3. Could have perhaps gotten this last Berserker as well, but he doesn't want to lose too much here. Oh, Cyclone coming in, the one of the wind. I neglected to mention the item pickup that he found here. Scroll of speed, trying to get out, saving all of his units. He got the shop and the Ancient of War. So two decent pickoffs, and of course, he got the TP out of Foggy's hands. But he didn't kill any uh, talents, so the army for Foggy uh, remains powerful. As soon as he gets level 3 Demon, Demon isn't stacked too well. Sometimes we will see Night Elves grabbing up more circlets from the Merchant. As, of course, the Demon is the centerpiece of their army and investing into him always makes sense. TC getting closer to 3. Well, this could be a good opportunity for the Orc here to look for an engagement. Foggy does not have a TP anymore. He doesn't have invuls either or Scrolls of Healing. And he's going to reposition. Not quite yet at 50 supply. Folk is usually a player who really likes the Berserkers, but of course on this map here the Murkhams are so far out of the way they did not, did not yet find the opportunity to go for them. Of course if you go so far to the outskirts you give the Night Elf a lot of space. Something that you don't want to do, especially before they have Master. But now he has 3, 2, 1 heroes. Of course nothing too sensational. Oh, triple cyclone. Oh, can he get all three? So this is uh, last 20 seconds on units. And yeah, speed scroll, he will not give away these uh, three kills for free. And of course, if the Knight of tries to surround, he's lining up perfectly for a shockwave. However, oh, the sentry ward is so nice here to see the blade master coming. Shockwave comes in. Only level one, though. So two raiders are stuck. One gets out of there. One of the wind coming in again, he's gonna have another shockwave here very quickly. Spirit Link upon these raiders makes them fairly tanky, but two raiders fall. Should fall. Trade it against only one Talon. F fantastic trade here. Oh my god, is he gonna get the TC? Oh no, this could be the game right here. Spirit Link coming in again. Oh, but these Talons, of course, they're not the best blockers, so they may not be able to keep this around stuck. Trying for it again. Is Foggy overcommitting here? It looks a little dangerous. But the TC, he's still low. He's still in trouble. He's going for the heal scroll, basically only for himself. Level 3 now for him. He has a shockwave now. If he doesn't get burned, he gets burned, but too late. The pocket Factory is going to be killed, and some more talents. Heal scroll number 2 coming in. He's trying to pop him out, but he gets Cyclone before he can go for the backstab. TC dropping lower and lower. More right-click damage. The second hero is going to fall. But also, 
Foggy with barely any talents left, and with that, maybe the Blade Master can do this by himself. His inventory isn't the craziest. And he has like nothing left. 44 supply only for the Orc against 40 for the Night Elf, but most importantly, one hero is gone. Missing. Blade Master doesn't have an invul, so he can always be cycloned up here as long as there is mana. Mana isn't too much anymore. I think he only has one cyclone left there, maybe two. But oh man. Focus is falling apart. And Foggy. Very ballsy play here, committing so hard for the second hero kill. I think going for the Raiders made a lot of sense when you can go get three in a surround, that's amazing. But usually when you commit so hard for a hero kill with Spritlink being so tanky, that normally doesn't work out. But here it did. It came at a price, but I think it was a reasonable enough price. So now, Focus has to lick his wounds. Heal cells, clarities. We know the drill. This is usually the time where the Night Elf wants to go pedal to the metal, aggressive, and doesn't want to give the Orc uh, time to recover. But Foggy is going to. I... I feel like this is a bit of a mistake. I feel like trying to capitalize moving across the map might be better. But alright, of course, creeping isn't bad either. He's gonna get level 3 Beastmaster here. That's a big upgrade. And a late game Shadow Priest, just for some healing. That's pretty unusual, but kind of nice. Healing up talents with Moonwells is very inefficient with mana and all that. So now he's going to be able to slowly, very slowly, heal up a little bit. Here comes the Creepjack. The Overseer is going to go towards him. Ring of Region, really not what he wanted. Here come the Cyclones again. Is he going to commit to the Cyclones around again so early? Oh, and the fight starts with a TC out of mana. He used one Shockwave, but that one wasn't too amazing. The Pocket Factory here, nicely blocking the way. The Raiders can't find their targets. We have five Raiders, but no Berserkers. Everything's melee, and again he's going for the TC. He's playing this, I don't know. Like an Orc or an Undead. Hero kills every time. Beastmaster dropping low, though. Is he gonna use the TP? Yes, that will save the TC. Maybe he could have considered letting his hero die. Ho, ho. Oh, 20 HP for the TC, dude. That was very close. That could have gone differently. Just a second longer. Had he just stayed in a second longer. But still, uh, 46 supply for the Night Elf. 50 for the Orc. He wants to be further ahead at this point. And I don't like his unit comp. He's too heavy on Raiders. Not really enough Walkers. And especially, the Berserkers are missing. And he's forgetting about one Raider as well. And Foggy gets to the shop, he has map control, something that the orcs never want to give up. Holy shit! Look at these heal potions. A player's forces are under attack. Pork chop sandwiches, man. He has four of them. And an invul. These heroes should be pretty safe, especially considering the blade isn't level four, I don't think. Oh, he is actually, okay. So he has the bigger crits. But he has a really, really poopy inventory, man. Only one circlet, one gloves. Not fortunate enough to be blessed with the claws. And now the wisps come in as well. Usually, when the game's even, there need to be wisps for the Night of it feels like, against the top orcs to be able to stand a chance. And he won the fights without wisps up until now. He even has a fairy dragon now. We did have four walkers still only low upkeep for the orc. They're even in terms of supply. There is? Okay, there's even a TP. So, Foggy's playing the safe, not uh, deciding to engage without a TP. That is the one way it feels like he could lose this game. Wisps get taken out, but at the cost of a shockwave. Mana burn could be coming in. Oh, a little slow there. There it is. That shockwave was okay. He had like three talents, but now he's out of mana. And now he's in a world of trouble. I would love some Ancients of War here by Foggy. We've been seeing this more and more. And here we go. Foggy's feeling so confident, he's moving out into the open. Is that perhaps a bit of overconfidence from him? The first talents are gonna die quickly, of course, but there's so much Cyclone. Invul pop on the Blade Master. What's his target? Going for the Demon, but there's an Invul for him as well, so he remains safe. And there's just not enough mana anymore for Disenchant. I think he has a bunch of mana left, actually, so he should be using it against the Cyclone here, it seems, as the Raiders keep on falling. There was a big Disenchant. Demon in the front line still, tanking through all of this, healing potions, invul potions. He is very sturdy, and the raiders are gonna start falling very soon. He needs the heal scrolls, but he didn't have the time. He couldn't go towards the shop in the middle because the night elf was too dominant. That's GG. And that looked like an easy game for our boy Foggy, 1-0.
And we have a new subscriber, first time sub by Habibi Blocksberg. <laughs> it's hard to read your name, but it's a good one. It's a it's a German cartoon, Bibi Blocksberg. One zero lead for focus. Ah, foggy. Of course. And resub from Mr. P. Gray. Uh, Remo, is that contact lens liquid to your right? To my right is here. So this right here, this is contact lens liquid, yeah. And this stuff, which you guys seem to always assume is like McDonald's trash, it's, it's all contact lens stuff, so. It looks a little messy, but it's not McDonald's. Trust me. So map number two now, which one does Focus want to go for? Usually the uh, Vitos are pretty much always the same. Definitely Terranus. That's way too good for Night Elf. And, um, and LR, right? We see LR a decent amount though. I think it's a really good Night Elf map. I don't think Orc should give that away. Um, Foggy, of course, will have vetoed Echo Isles. And then... The second one is always a question mark. We see Twisted Meadows quite a lot. Turtle Rock could also be vetoed. It's a good orc map. Yeah, so I think it's gonna be TR or LR. Maybe even Twisted. <clears throat> yeah, Night Elves do have a few difficult maps in the map pool. I feel like Night Elves and uh, humans both are struggling with the map pool nowadays. For Orc and Undead seems to be yeah, more, more easy to deal with. Pudgy resubbing for five months, saying Remo out of jail. Sick, yeah man. I've been out of jail for the last uh, three days. This is our fourth day of casting in a row, our fourth day of um, our fourth day of Color Cup group stage. And they forgot to invite me, guys. How impolite. Ah, runtime performance drink, boys. Thank you very much to Cre Create Red. Is it Create Red? Uh, Selling for the first time. Welcome, buddy. 1.29, yes, 1.29, we're gonna play that later, or watch that later. Color Cup is still on 1.28, but uh, Rust Brain Qualifier later on this evening, this afternoon rather, is gonna be 1.29, the first tournament ever on Back to Warcraft on the new patch. I'm really excited to see this, man. I, I wonder how much of a meta change we're gonna see. I think especially Farseer. That's the one uh, standout hero. I have played against so much Farseer on ladder. And even before the patch, I've always had more trouble dealing with a Farseer. I feel like the Blade Master is very predictable and, you know, you can deal with him well if you know how to, which is, you know, Frost Armor and Kite. Once he hits level 4 and um, Orb of Lightning, it becomes more difficult. But for a long time, in the early and mid game. I don't even think Blade Master is that big of a problem. But Farseer 
The Speed Scroll, Wolf Harass against the Acolytes, and I've seen a lot of actually Farseer and TC like double nuke combo, which ca totally caught me off guard because usually I never ever play Heal Scroll against uh, Orc. You know, you don't need it against Blade Master. But I have come to realize against Farseer TC, you really need Heal Scrolls against Orc. Our next game is going to start very soon. <clears throat> Can you restream the game? No, dude. Restream sucks. We're going to do the Netties watch. Isn't Farseer reaching Destroyer and win? Yeah, destroyers are very good against Farseer. Two destroyers, um, and you'll be able to kill the wolves immediately. Very good orcs will split the wolves, so you, ca you can't uh, kill them immediately. Also, the wolves are very very fast, especially with a TC aura. And the cast point for destroyer dispel is like one and a half seconds or something. I, I know it's not that long, but it feels really, really long. So, it's not very reliable that you always hit the wolves. But yeah, of course, with Farseer, you want to harass the base, um, keep the Undead occupied, perhaps expand behind it. It's it's more of a like cheesy kind of uh, gameplay style, I've, I, what I've noticed so far. Oi, right. but anyways. We have our game, we go in. 1-0 lead for Foggy. God damn it, why do I keep mixing these up? It's starting again. Last couple of days I haven't mixed up the names too much. I don't know why, but in this matchup as well, I oftentimes mix up Blade Master and Demon Hunter. I guess, you know, in my head, their agility carries with a lot of damage, a lot of uh, attack speed, a high range of damage rolls. So, I don't know. All right, I still have a pizza. Yeah, I think we're gonna, I'm going to do that uh, after this game here. So both players scouting, especially for the orc, unusual nowadays because of one borrowed tech. But he, this has the purpose of wanting to find a greedy, a risky ancient of war. But that's not the case. Foggy is playing this safe. He's going to play huntresses into. Any strategy, really. You have uh, so many opportunities to go into the mid game and late game with the Hunter's opening. I've seen a lot of AP pushes being played by Foggy. Uh, Focus should be aware of this and should be scouting for that then. And I imagine that's what he's going to do. Nice Wisp Scout here as well. Confirming the Blade Master's movement. Of course, um, Blade Master knows that there's no Ancient of War creep happening, which means the demon's going to be very aggressive, which in turn means that he cannot really creep big camps. He's trying his luck at the Tome of Experience. Fog Focus sometimes has very, very lucky days where he always finds the best drops. No Tome of Experience, but a Tome of Agility plus two. Not too bad either. But now where does he go? You can maybe go for the green camps. But he's going to drop very low doing that. Okay, that's what he's going to do. Oh! I don't think he can cancel this Wool Lounge, though. He's only level 1. He doesn't even have a circlet, so his damage is very minor. That's a late tech, though. Wow. It's late, right? The Night Elf going for Huntresses has a faster tech, in fact. I mean, he went 2 Borrow plus Shop before the tech. I like that, though. Um, oftentimes, when you see Blade Masters not taking big camps, but rather going for the circlet, um, they will go to borrow into tech. But if you delay your shop for later, then the Demon Hunter could have cancelled this building. Could have cancelled the shop. Would have made this uh, early game pretty difficult for the Orc, always being low HP on the blade. So I like this opening here. 
It does delay his tech, but it makes everything more comfortable, more easy to deal with. So, is it gonna be an AP push? Oh, nice block here from the Wisps. Oh, he failed it though. <laughs> Whoops. Slightly mispositioned. Oh, wow. He's creeping the gold mine? Seems a little risky, but um, he had seen the demon in the main just a moment ago. So, in fact, he's safe to do this. And usually, when you play hunts, and Demon Hunter, without any creeping, you want to keep the orc from leveling as much as possible, so getting this camp is a big deal. Bad drop with the ring. Clause plus nine, or perhaps a pendant was what he was hoping for. But it's level two anyways, so that's a big upgrade. And Foggy's having a very tough time finding him. Only the single wisp out on the map isn't, you know, doesn't make this very easy for him to scout many positions at the same time in the blade. Very close to level 3 already. War mill early uh, for our boy Focus here. Indicates there's going to be an SH, I think. Maybe also getting ready for the towers. He's is using... I like this grunt. And this is what I was talking about earlier. Foggy has played a lot of AP pushes in the past. And this one grunt is just consistently scouting around the main. His single job is to find APs. But there are none coming, so... What is Foggy doing? He reached level 2 here. Dropped very low, though, doing this. He's rushing tier 3. Oh, it is Talons, actually. Three hunts into Talons. That seemed to be the most standard strategy on Twisted for a while. But we could hear the level up here already. Level 3 for the Blade. God damn. He's gonna be so valuable here. Oh, and he uses the dust. Did he? Yeah, he used the dust but didn't see the blade. Oh, this can be this can become a big problem here for Foggy. He could just force the TP, couldn't he? He has two more windwalks. This is a lot of damage. He can kill the huntress and then go for the demon. Oh, this is bad for Foggy. He used the dust but it didn't hit him. And he's he's gonna get the rock on him, definitely. So, oh my god, he gets it. The items? He doesn't get the big one. Healing potion on the demon. Will he pop it early? Dude, you need to be careful. Dude! That was a split second. But he loses the hunters anyways. He saved the other one. Very fortunate drop there with the healing potion. And it's an SH second, so that's not the best hero against Talons, which we are going to be seeing coming. But the early game greatly went in favor of focus. Second hero choice. May not be ideal, but not bad, you know. And the blade, he is three and a half already. Oh my god. And Beastmaster, zero experience. Going for a big camp, getting nothing from it. Even losing a Huntress. But at least, you know, not losing a hero. Heal potion's gone, he still has the TP, however. Of course, Talons are gonna be late here. Uh, with his strategy. Going into Hunters before. Oh! Late Master tries to come in in time again. Not this time though. I like the tankiness items here. Night Elf heroes can always use tankiness. N not so much against human, I guess. But against anyone else, definitely. And now. Oh! The demon's in trouble. This will definitely have to be a TP. There it is. He loses the TP. He k keeps the rest though, so that's okay. SH moved across the map for this, so neglected his own creeping. But now the game becomes more difficult and dangerous for Foggy. He doesn't have a TP anymore. His heroes are in danger of dying. It just turned daytime and the moon is looking pretty bad. Only one moon well with a hundred mana. That's very dangerous. Also no master yet. It seems like Foggy is forced to camp right now. If he moves out, he is definitely taking a risk. Raiders should be coming. Pretty late though. He should have had the lumber for earlier raiders. I guess he prioritized the walkers for some reason. Don't know about that choice, but okay. Heal scroll and invol potion already. And here is Foggy taking the risk. If he gets creepjacked here, if he was to get creepjacked, this could be very dangerous. But he is scouting with a quill beast himself, so he knows the orc is far away, so it isn't too dangerous. However, the blade master. He's gonna get it again, isn't he? Dust is here! 
But he still gets the last hit and the item. Oh my god, this Blade Master control on map number two is absolutely ridiculous. He evades the surround as well. This was a little dangerous. He could have gotten surrounded and killed here, but it didn't happen. As it is, he's already level four. Oh my god. He just needs to find a claw or two. And then Hex and Snare becomes extremely dangerous against these heroes who are struggling to find levels. So many big creeps have been denied from them so that the demon is still only level 2. Beastmaster just barely hit his own level 2. And still the moon juice looking bad. That's why we see a moonstone. Peons coming out. So the heroes are amazing for focus. The levels at least. But he doesn't have the aura uh, from the TC, which is a big buff for the force, uh, the units of the orc. And the units are oftentimes the only thing that does anything in the fights against talents, because the heroes are up in the air, of course. Second heal scroll for him. There's nothing in this shop for Foggy. Focus is playing this game really well, man. Holy shit. All started out with this creep camp here, going unnoticed. And he's just playing this seemingly perfectly. I'm really impressed with him. Map number one looked like he didn't have a chance almost. But here, man, it's so good. Four and three are his hero levels against two and two. We don't even have a tinker yet. Takes him so long to get to his 50 supply. He could go there now. But he doesn't have potions or heal scrolls as shown before. Demon is pretty tanky though, even being level two only. With the ring and the belt. Oh, he did get the Tinker here, with a Wisp in the middle, that's nice. He's gonna have to walk the long way around though. Ancient of War is gonna help him here with a base defense. And... Yeah. Does Focus really want to engage now? He's already up at 58 supply. This time, by the way, he did go for the Berserkers. I feel like they were really lacking in game number one. Alright, but now he's gonna take a step back, creep up a little bit more. I don't like this choice, honestly. He's already at 4-3. And this camp should not be allowed for Foggy. I think this is a big mistake. Foggy doesn't have invuls, doesn't have heal scrolls, and he has uh, bad hero levels. And Fo Focus was already at, uh, you know, 60 supply. He did get more heal scrolls, I guess. Now he still only has the two. So I think this is the first big mistake from Focus. Just, you know, giving him a little bit of time. Boots of speed for the demon. He's gonna hit level 3 here. Essential. Oftentimes, though, he won't get in range to burn the SH even. Being kept at bay with the ensnare. So he's being attacked in the main. He doesn't have a TP anymore. Oh, he bought the TP. Staffs back to his army. And now we'll have to use the TP. Otherwise, you're gonna lose way too much of your base. And here he is. But that was just a bit of a pressure play from Focus. Force another TP, killed the Ancient of War, and now he's already up at 67 supply. Whoo! This orc army is becoming big and scary. No upgrades yet. He could go for them, having the war mill, but it doesn't really feel efficient going for upgrades since you have like walkers and berserkers and raiders. So only the raiders would benefit from them. Even still has the two grunts. Oh, is he gonna expand here? That could be pretty unpredictable. Pendant of energy, very nice. No, he's not gonna expand. Finally, Fowey got some items from the shop. He has now one scroll of healing. Triple heal potion, by the way. Oh, this is starting off nice for him. He finds the SH immediately. Oh my god, is he going for the surround kill again? Oh, I don't know about this, buddy. Of course, SH is kind of squishy, but so are all of his talents. He comes out of Hex, he has to burn again. Heal wave coming in. Uh, with a pen of energy here, this guy is pretty tanky. Spirit Link coming in once more. Oh no! SH out of position a single time and this is how he dies? Invul. With that he survives. At least, at least for 7 seconds. Tinker dropping very low as well. 7 seconds are gonna be over in a moment. It seems like Foggy needs to get this kill. He committed so hard for this one single kill. The demon can't quite attack him. Now he can. Level 4 staffs him out. Demon safe. SH dead. But so is most of the Knight of Army. He lost kind of everything for this kill. He's staffing in again, but he has like nothing left, dude. He can't cyclone the Blade Master who's level five and a half, by the way. He may have gotten the hero kill, but yeah. That was too much of a commitment. GG. 
focus equalizes and we have the one one uh. And that's why going for hero kills with that knight of army is very dangerous. It was pretty, you know, tempting though to see the SH so far out of position. But yeah, he put all of his own damage into the SH and in the meantime the talents <laughs> fell like flies around him. And this is Foggy's counter pick almost always as we go into Amazonia next. I imagine pretty much everyone right now watching has heard my monologue about Amazonia before, which is Amazonia always really good for Night Elf in the beginning, and then later on it turns uh, into a bit of a problem with there being so few good positions for the Night Elf to look for an engagement. So I really feel like the Night Elf is pressured to get a lot done in the early game. To have a good position in the late game. But it also feels like Foggy always, every time he plays this map, he wins this map for whatever reason. We had another reset, by the way, by HSFL 126 months already. Glad to still have you with us, man. Ah, thank you, thank you. So the demon's gonna get very fast level two, then he's gonna move across the map, and very unlikely to get anything done with it, but it's more to protect his own base. We have seen some orc aggression, uh, trying to prevent, you know, the easy one moon well tech from the night elf, but then it was Foggy himself who showed me why that's a bad idea. You can hold on to your skill points, and if the orc is aggressive in your base, you can skill immolation and fight against the peons here. That sounds like it's gonna be really bad late game, which it is, but it's so crazy good in the early. So... That should yeah, give him a lot of safety early on. The winner here, of course, moves on to the upper bracket uh, final. The winner of which will then move on to the playoffs. The loser drops down into the lower of course, everyone's expecting Foggy and Focus both to make it out of this group. But we had some upsets yesterday, where TH lost his one, uh, his first game against TBC, which I thought would be impossible. TH still made it in the end, but uh, yeah, had a harder time than I was expecting. Yesterday, uh, TH and WFZ advanced from Group C. Ring of Protection again. This Blade Master has found a lot of rings, hasn't he? Here's the Orc tech, here's the Night Elf tech. Neck and neck, in fact. So, second Boro is gonna come here. Grun is supposed to block the way so the demon can't cancel it. Cloak. Not what he was hoping for. Uh, but he's pretty tanky here, tankier than he was on AI because of having level 2 early. That's the big difference here on AZ. That's why it's very nice for Night Elves in the early game. He could commit into the base, but with that he may find himself stuck having to use his TP later. Late Master got a circlet and keeps the ring for better trading. Grunt blocked the way long enough for the Boro to not be able to get cancelled anymore. So it looks like they're just dancing back and forth, but actually they're making perfect calls. Which is what I expect from these two juggernauts. And the Ancient of War, slow and steady. Moves from creep camp to creep camp. This is also why AZ is nice. Four creep camps, very close to each other, which you can get go for with the Engine of War easily. Oh, this is a nice find here by the blade. He's gonna be able to steal another big creep and most likely item. 
This will get him very close to level 2. And he gets it! And the items! Thank you very much! Demon here, wasting his time, it seems. I'd like him to try to go for more stacking, more uh, circlets and stuff. But again, only for the staff. Here he opts. But he did kill more of the Murlocs. Two and a half now for him, tier 2. Still gonna be a little while. And... Now Focus is actually moving very far out here to creep. Renegade Wizards uh, holds all of great items. Oh, I like this actually. Getting the Berserker early. Berserker's always gonna be good for Orc in this matchup. Boots of Gualtalas. Oh, yes, baby. He had the bad luck of the ring before, but now he has the boots. And the Archer. Already in position. And I like this timing as well. The Orc knows he has to go home to defend against the tier 2 harass. And Foggy takes advantage of this by being able to creep here in a moment, I am assuming. Again, he has the Wisp in the main. Again, he could staff onto him, but he didn't want to do that earlier. This seems new from Foggy. Keeping the Beastmaster in the middle, sending out one Quill Beast to distract more than anything else. A player's forces are under attack. So... He is not doing it Korean style, going all out creeping. He's creeping with one archer and still trying to harass. All right, here we go. Staff in onto the Quill Beast. Ooh, but he is kind of surrounded now. He does get the lodge. But he's falling very low. Yeah, he has to be staffed home. But this creep camp is still commencing. Can the demon get there in time to do anything about this? I don't think so. So slight delay of the lodge. But yeah, Foggy is committing way less than we used to see from him to this tier 2 harassment. I always liked uh, the more creepy heavy approach. And it seems like Foggy is, yeah, going in that direction more nowadays as well. Very close to level 3 now. Blade Master comes in, but not in time to do anything about the Ancient of War creep. So TC's out. We have two grunts still. I really like the early Merc camp, because three grunts are good to defend against the uh, harass in the base, but they're so bad later, so going for that early Berserker I really, really do like. Tier 3 is of course coming over here. Decently timed. So, can he find some more creep camps? Can he get to level 3? This creep camp is the most predictable. This is why oftentimes orcs will try to creep this with their tier 2. And take it away from the Knight of Opponent. But he's uh, kind of far away for it to do this. Quill Beast scouting. But by the time he arrives, this camp is going to be mostly dead. Gets a Sasquatch. Wands of Illusion can be really good to block the way for the talents. Fairy Fire on the blade. But now he can steal his items. Oh, I also like this timing here. Only has to wait one more hour and then he can steal Heal Scroll and Invol both. So, he's not gonna do it? Shouldn't he do that? At least the Heal Scroll? A player's forces huh. are under attack. And once again, I think this is Foggy uh, Focus being too passive. Like, this camp should not be allowed. Not at all. But he wants to go for more Berserkers, um, which, again, are good, but this should absolutely not be allowed. And the reason why Foggy's doing this is because he has a sentry ward here, saw the orc moving south. So he knew he was safe to do this. Blade Master, not an easy early level 3 like the last map, so being able to hunt for items a lot more difficult. And yeah, this is what I was saying. Early game for the Night Elf, really good. Look at the difference here from TM to AZ. Beastmaster is two and a half already. Demon's level three, of course. And the TC, he's only, he's gonna be level three here, but the Blade Master, not even level three himself. Very good drops, though, from the Merc camps. Zoe Mask and the Boots of Quelthalas. <clears throat> and now we're moving towards Master Training. Does he have it? He's going to in a moment, and that's when the game begins. So... The items were actually stolen here. Um, focus delayed it by a little, but he still got them. He has the heal scroll and the invul. And the beast master gets closer to three. We're gonna have a tinker. Does he want to fight with this? His hero levels are good. 
His army is, you know, talents, pretty good. But he doesn't have the items. That's the one thing that's missing here for Foggy. No invos, no heal scrolls, of which Fo Focus is probably going to grab up more now. Could go for the next heal scroll. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Has the money now. But he's giving up his own natural. Something that's pretty unheard of. The Knight of getting this as well. So, I don't, I don't like the Orc's movement too much this game. He really prioritized... The Murkham is super heavily. I like the first one, not the second. And then this shop also too heavily prioritized, I feel. So he gives up the big camp. It's a scroll of the beast only. Not what Foggy was hoping for. 50 supply for him against 50 for the orc. Level 3 beast master already. Holy shit. That was so fast. 3-3 three, three heroes for focus as well. So, as was to be expected... Very good early game for the Night Elf, but now going towards the late game, finding a good position. That is the difficulty. When does he want to attack? How does he want to attack? More potions for him. He's keeping the Scroll of the Beast, which surprises me. It's okay on the heroes. On the talents, like, whatever. Two fairy dragons as well. He's bringing the wisps again. This is like the perfect night elf late game army. Of course, the higher the hero levels are, the better it is. But they are pretty good. He has one heal scroll. No, ah, he has an invul as well. And a heal potion here. Tinker doesn't have anything. But Tinker doesn't need anything. He's level one. If he dies, that's okay. Wands of Illusion coming out early from the orc. Would have preferred to see it on the TC so you may confuse the demon hunter's mana burn. Speaking of mana burn, where is it? He's not using it. A little late, so the first shockwave hit pretty well. But the burn should be coming out right away when he lands. And there it is! No more shockwaves for the TC. Scroll of speed to reposition. So we may be in open, on an open battlefield here. But still the orc is not feeling confident enough to engage. I think a lot of his stuff is still in production. In fact it is at least the walker there. Again he's going for the TC hero kill? We saw this before, and it was successful. He's trying to give over the invul. He is kind of close to him. Is it not close enough? I don't think it's close enough, though. Where's the spirit link, by the way? Invul transferred! <gasps> On 5 HP, he survives. But it may only be for 7 seconds. First heal scroll coming in. He's going towards the shop. He needs to buy a TP. I think he sells something. Teleport scroll. He will not die this time. Once again, a few talents have been sacrificed to try to go for this hero kill demon. Dropping low. But he will survive. Invul potion keeps him safe. Beastmaster up in the air again. Foggy has to decide, does he want to force the TP here or kill more orc stuff? Demon back at home, healing up, Telly staff ready, let's go in again, onto the Ancient of War. Another specialty for Foggy has been incorporating this Ancient of War into more and more late game engagements. Moving forward now, this is exactly what the Night Elves want, everything for the orcs low. He wants to have time to heal up, Invul on the ground! He steals the Invul, oh no! <laughs> oh, focus, what was this? That was a bit of a mistake, wasn't it? Ancient of War, still sturdy here. He actually got the Nature's Blessing only for his one Ancient of War. I think that's a very good choice, especially when you're in 50 supply. Shop's gone! Burrows under pressure. The Orc is ahead by 5 supply, but it doesn't seem like he should be taking engagement, but he has to. He has to engage. Can't afford to lose all these Burrows. Tinker close to level 2 now. There's still a TP on the Night Elf side. Still lots of good consumables to be used. On the Orc, nothing. No heal scroll, no invul. This is looking like foggy in the next round, if you ask me. How can he engage? Focus. How can he hope to win this? That's one talent for free, but that's one talent. They're a dime a dozen. More and more will be coming. Trying to delay here for a bigger army, but he can't go for a bigger army. He's supply stuck. Shockwave comes in, but it's mediocre at best. And now he's out of mana. I think Foggy could just engage. He wants to get some more items here at the shop, but the Blade Master is going to get him. Oh, there's actually an orc shop up here. He gets the... Oh, he could get Cyclone surrounded here. Is he going to try for it? Blade is very tanky once he has Spirit Link. Not going to try for the Cyclone surround this time. This one archer, by the way, is still alive. She has seen some shit. Oh, 
Staffing over the Beastmaster there. What's he getting? Clarity, heal scrolls, potions. He has double scroll of healing now. A bunch of healing potions. Ancient of War is dead. But still, the Orc is supply stuck. Still only at 54. 51 supply for Foggy. He's gonna kill the Lodge here. He's being patient though. He's not committing too hard. He wants to have the good position. Wants to have the upper hand. TC still no mana. There's a shop coming here. I think he should have made it here right away. Positioning up there was kind of weird. But now the Lodge is gone. How is he ever gonna get walkers again? But he still has a lot of walkers. With a lot of mana as well. TC, is he gonna try for the kill again? I don't think he needs to. Here's a shockwave. There's gonna be no more... Uh, the mana burn, I mean. There's gonna be no more waves. This game, it doesn't seem like... Oh my god, he's dropping so low. Where's the spirit link, buddy? There it is. Coming in late, but still in time. He's dropping very low. The TP will have to be used, perhaps? No. He holds on to it. More and more raiders dying. Level 2, Tinker, and now Foggy finally seems to be very confident to just walk into this battle. Not even a pocket factory on the ground. Maybe, oh, it's over there. Okay. Raiders are dying. There's not a single one left. The TC's dead, and that is G. G. And that's the 2-1 victory for Foggy into the next round in the upper bracket.